All right, Peaches, I'm on my own on this one because she's not even curious. But why wouldn't you be curious? Because the other ones tasted so bad. Yes, so what we're talking about is the Duncan Spiked Pumpkin Spice Iced Latte thing. I don't know, beverage. It's a thing. Um, so, yeah, we tried the other Spiked Duncan Iced Coffees. They were horrible. Yeah, not not a one of them was good. Um, I did like the hard teas and refreshers. I like those. I did not. Peach did not like those, but I did like those. But we both hated the coffee. Um, I think we still have a can floating around here of the coffee. I tried to pawn it off at Monster Mania, <laughs> and Chris said he was going to drink it, but then he never drank it. So fuck you, man. Because um, I really was hoping to get rid of that. Um, so yeah. This is new, and even though we both hate it, the other ones, it's just intriguing, and it's pumpkin spice, so you never know. Could be good, right? 21 plus contains alcohol, 6% alcohol. You should shake it and then ice it, it says. But it's pretty ice cold as it is, so I don't think ice is going to help it. Um, unless for the temperature. It's not going to change the taste, so... I'm gonna shake it. So I did the, I'm doing step one and I don't give a shit about step two because we don't have any ice and I don't think that's gonna help. Now that I just shook it, I don't really wanna open it. So I don't know how long. So it's American Spiked Beverages out of Boston, Massachusetts. And then it says Puerto Rico, do not litter. So they're just talking to Puerto Rico on here. Guys, don't litter in Puerto Rico. Because I don't know what else that would mean. I'm confused. It literally just says that. American Spike Beverages, Boston, Massachusetts. Puerto Rico, do not litter. So. Well, maybe there are litter bugs down in Puerto Rico. Maybe. If anybody else knows what that actually means, I'm not sure what that means. Um, but yeah, 12 ounces. Premium malt beverage with coffee extract, natural flavors, and certified color. So this color is certified. By who, I do not know, but they certified it. The Duncan trademark logos and trade dress are the property of the DDIP holder, LL, you know, all that crap. None of that really matters if it tastes like shit. I don't care who holds the LLC and you hold your own balls, I don't care. We're opening this up. Oh. Alrighty then. It looks okay, it looks kind of watery like the other ones because they were not like creamy coffee. Because you know we've had some good hard coffee like the Rebel Twelves, uh, even Pabst Blue Ribbon did some good oh, yeah, hard coffee. Were good. So you would think somebody like Dunkin' Donuts, where like their thing is coffee, if they made a hard coffee, it would be better than those. Not correct. So <sighs> boy, here we go. Doesn't smells not like pumpkin spice. I don't know. I don't want to initially say it's bad right off the bat, but I kind of think I need you to taste it because I'm not sure. I need like a little glass though. I don't know. Here. It's not as bad as the others, I don't think, but it's also not All right. good. I don't know. Maybe the pumpkin spice flavor is a little overwhelming. Right. But it's not as, like, I don't know. Oh, that's terrible. No. Did you know it was going to be know. bad? I just wanted to see what your opinion was, and you weren't going to drink it otherwise. Oh, so. God, that's awful. That is awful. So... I don't know. It's like syrupy sweet. Bought a four pack of these because they came in a four pack. It was nine ninety nine. That's a shame. It is a shame, but sometimes you got to bite the bullet and take one because I don't think I would have found this in a single can offering. And I just was curious, and I don't think, even though all signs pointed to it was going to be bad based on previous experience, um, 
I just had to try it because if I didn't, I would have never, I wouldn't have always been curious and I would have been like, I really wondered what that tastes like. I don't think it's horrible, but it's not good. So I don't know what that means. Take it for what you will. Try it for yourself if you're curious. Because like me, even though I had pretty much every indication that it was not going to be good, I still wanted to try it because I was curious. So if you're curious, I don't know, give it a try. It sucks that you're giving them money for shitty stuff or subpar stuff, but sometimes you're just curious. Um, I don't think I'd be like down in these and be like, oh yeah, they're so good. Especially even for what they are, you really shouldn't be like, oh, I'm just going to drink this whole four pack this afternoon of coffee, uh, alcohol. Oh, excuse me. So, maybe like, you know, space them out. Drink the one, then when you forget how not really good it is, open up another one and get that one out of the way. So, you gotta space them out to where you forget how not great they are, and then you can get through a four pack and then, you know, or try to pawn it off on some of your friends. Be like, yeah, I got these. You want to try one? Um, so yeah, I mean, that's about all I can say about that. So that's it for this, um, trying of the Duncan Spiked Pumpkin Spice Ice Latte. Uh, I guess I'm just going to power through this one. And, uh, it's given off, like, weak, watery coffee with, like, pumpkin spice potpourri vibes. Yeah. It's kind of like what it feels like you're drinking. And, uh, I know the more I talk about it, the more I'm not really selling it, but it's not really my job to sell it, and uh, I'm just telling you what I think. So that's gotta be it on this. Do with it what you will. Think of it what you will. Try it if you're curious. Don't try it. If you just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to take that guy's word for it and it doesn't sound like something I want to do. Then don't do it. If you can find it in a single can somewhere, I would suggest that. If you see somebody drinking one, your friends, and they got them, you know, ask if you can try one of those. Um, try it. Uh, at every, at any way that you can, try to avoid buying a full four-pack. Um, that's, uh, again, I'm not making it sound any better the longer I talk about it. But... That's all I got to say. Peach says, yuck. We appreciate you. Say it, Peach. Oh, we appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.